hello my loves welcome back to another video another vlog um i got ready i got all dolled up i did my makeup i wanted to record it but that didn't work out i'm actually really really excited and happy that i've been staying consistent this is something that i've missed doing we're starting to get into the holiday season so I am just trying to start a little early this year. I'm usually the last of doing everything. So this time I'm really trying to be like ahead of the game, especially because I have two little ones. So I really want to get into like the holiday spirit of doing like arts and crafts throughout the house. This year is our first year in, back in the West Coast. Um, for those of you that know, know that I lived in California, then I moved to Indiana for one year. So we came back to the West Coast where I feel more at home and we're making a whole new state our home from the ground up we are starting over we got a little apartment here we are starting over so i'm talking about like furniture we had to start everything over bed frame bed couches dining table i was able to bring um some things from our cross-country move which was like a couple bins of stuff um, so one of those things were like my Christmas decorations, my uh, Halloween decorations. I did little clips here and there like my reels on Instagram that showed a little bit of the Halloween decorations and those have been with us for the last couple years. And I've been able to save a lot of money on just reusing them. So I am doing the same thing with my Christmas decorations like my garlands, my Christmas trees. Uh, I have one big one and like small ones as well. But doing that really allows me to save a lot of money and if i do want to go to the store like i did this year to pick up a couple more essentials like uh, decorative pillows or uh, candles just little things like that um, i'm able to do so and just add to the collection instead of starting fresh all over again so financially i think that's the best thing to do um and the staples that i have like the garlands and the christmas tree obviously you can always change up your theme every year if you'd like um, but overall, it's kind of like set in stone, like um, obviously the greeneries, the Christmas tree, um, and then like neutrals that kind of just go with everything. But I'm really, really excited about the holiday season. I'm excited that I've been staying consistent with my YouTube. I'm also 20 weeks, almost 21 weeks pregnant. Oh, actually, you know what? I think today marks 21 weeks pregnant. Um, and I'm going to show you guys the belly. I feel like it's really sticking out and I feel like the reason why is because this is my third kid guys so my body knows exactly what it's doing. Drunken Elephant is sponsoring this video. Thank you Drunken Elephant for sending over the holiday kit. Drunk Elephant gifted me their Mama and Cub holiday kit Pratini Cream Moisturizer and I'm really excited to tell you guys that I really liked it. I do have dry skin and as the drier months are approaching, which is like the holidays, it's the perfect time to stock up on your moisturizers or simply gift it to somebody that really enjoys healthy moisturized skin. I did wear it underneath my makeup and it lasted all day. It didn't bulge or make it feel too heavy so I do recommend it and plus great reviews so that speaks for itself. What is this, Papa? A football ornament. Ornament? Yeah, it comes with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hey, nice. Where's your Christmas tree at? Over there. Oh. Mm. This one is glittery, but this one is so fierce. Oh, because it's nice and glittery? Yeah. Okay. And this one is uh, kind of glittery. Ooh. This one is kind of glittery. That's yours? That, this one is kind of green. And you chose footballs for your ornaments? Yeah. Nice. Can I see what else you got? Yeah. So I got these. And come to one, two, three, four, five, six. You lost count. <laughs> Let's put them on. Okay, we can only open. Sure. These are the ones he got, guys. This this one's so cute. We actually helped him um, choose the ones with the with the little hooks because we haven't bought them, so the footballs didn't come with those. So he's just gonna have to put them on the branch of the tree. Um, but these are the ones we got from Hobby Lobby, and then these this is what my daughter got the pink, all pink for her glittery tree, and then my son got red and traditional Christmas colors with footballs. All of these ornaments came in the bags that you see on the floor. Obviously, the kids were excited, so they took them out beforehand. Um, we bought some 
DIY, Christmas activities for the kids. Everything was 50% off. This is the, the Christmas pillow we found on, in Hobby Lobby. Um, it's the cutest little gingerbread. The material, it's not the softest. It's kind of like a little rough in my opinion, but it's still super cute and it's gonna look so cute in my living room once I have everything set up and ready to go. Um, apparently I showed a picture to my sister and she was telling me that it's like a viral um, gingerbread, but then I went on TikTok to confirm that. But there's so many different variations of, I guess, this um, pillow. And then also this one, we ended up making a quick Target stop and this is the only thing I got from Target. And that was about $10. So this is $20 but with 50% off. I believe I got it for like $10 and I got two of them. So I paid $20 for two uh, exact same ones. And we got this pillow, but I'm not so convinced about it. So I'm thinking about returning it before the sale's over. So this is $20 originally. I don't really believe it's worth the $20. It's so tiny and like the material again, it's rough. I wouldn't pay more than $10, which is why I got it because it was 50% off. But I don't know. I'm not really fully, fully convinced. I'm still trying to decide whether he's staying or going back. Um, but as of right now, we're keeping him. So I was really indecisive as to what um, we were going to decorate the whole house, like the color on my tree. But I ended up just going with red and gold. Kind of keep it traditional since we have a lot of whites. The last couple years has been like only white Christmas. But I added that little hat on top of that little tree there. And... I just thought it was the cutest thing. So I want I do want to add more pop of color throughout uh, the decoration. Excuse the mess. <laughs> uh, and then he also wanted red. He wanted more color on our dining table. We did add a little bit of red. I don't know if you guys can see. So we have like a small table runner. I don't know if that's gonna stay. The centerpiece is definitely not staying. Um, I decorated it with everything that I had from last year. And if you didn't know, um, we recently just did a huge cross country move from the Midwest. So all the stuff you see like decorations wise was what fit into two bins of storage for Christmas. And this has been with us for years, like, I can't even remember. I, maybe like more than four or five years. The little cup coasters, not not coasters. What are they called? Yeah, the coasters. I think um, those have been with us for about the same time that has been. This is super old as well. So we're just kind of working with what we got right now. I think it turns out it turned out really nice and neat, kind of simple. This, that's kind of what I'm going for this year. I don't like the clutter too much. Like I don't like overwhelming decorations. I just feel like it's clutter and I just, you know, I can't function with that. So I like to keep it very minimal. I'm thinking about replacing the centerpiece with maybe a bowl and adding like pine cones and the scents or candles or something. So this is all the stuff from last year as well. This is everything that we brought from the Midwest. These are like kind of my staples. Um, since we did put them away in storage, they do look a little funky now. But we're still gonna keep them and not everything that you see the way it is might stay. I kind of just um, did it all in one day to kind of get the vibe going. Um, but this is the garland that I've had for years as well. I think it's really, really cute. It's very simple. I like the fact that it lights up. I do have to rearrange it, kind of like fluff it, fluff out the leaves and, and the branches and stuff so it can look nice, a little nicer, but I do need to buy like sticky so it doesn't slip off or any little inconvenience. But that's the way that looks. And I think it looks cute. It might stay, it might, I might rearrange it. It just depends how I feel. We do have two extra trees that I haven't decided what to do with those yet. Um, my son helped me put random stuff around. These are stuff that I'll like never get rid of. This came from like my daughter's preschool. Um, these are the simple stockings that we've had for years, but I do want to get something made personalized from Etsy to maybe just add the name on top of it or we're trying to decide that. And I do need to get an extra stocking because we do have a baby on the way. But this little tree, it's not lit up yet. I think it's so cute. Obviously, my son put random ornaments on it. It's stained for now. Uh, random bucket. So that's what we have right now. But these are, I'm telling you guys, these are like what I would consider like recycled decorations that for me are a staple. And then our beautiful little garland, random tree ornaments kind of laid around. How's it going? 
This is how my son's tree is turning out. That's so cool. I think this looks so cool. Maybe you should spread it out a little bit so the whole tree can have some. Yeah? Okay. So this is the garland that we have left over, but I'm debating whether to put it around this arch here, this arch here, or the kitchen window, or up here, the living room. So I'm, start, I'm really trying to debate where to put it, and my living room looks really chaotic right now. So this is how the pillows are looking on the couch. Just those two little ones. And those two, I already had the white pillows, which actually I'm thinking about replacing because they're looking a little um, old now, but this is what we're working with right now. Trees ended up looking like they're super cute. They're done. I just need to find a place to put them. And then I need to finish putting these ornaments up. But I just feel like some stuff's missing. I don't know if it's a candle. I definitely need more furniture in this apartment, um, like my shoe rack up there. And um figure out where i'm gonna put those trees so overall i think it's looking cute i do need to add more finishing touches to them i really do like the couch so far though i think just walking up and seeing that looks it looks really cute obviously the older white pillows i do need to replace those i just don't feel like that's that cute maybe something in the middle not too cluttered though i do like the little staple all right guys so that concludes today's video thank you so much for watching thank you for sticking through all the way to the end um as we get closer to the holidays more of my vlogs are going to be more um thanksgiving theme christmas thing all holiday stuff we're trying to get into that vibe we're gonna be trying out a bunch of new recipes looking for new holiday traditions to add into our little family it's just my husband my two little babies me and a baby on the way we're trying to find new ways um to stay united stay bonded as a family and try new things that we've never done before so let me know what are some of your holiday traditions i really want to hear you guys out i want to try to incorporate some new things into our life as well um whether that's some recipes some things you guys do as thanksgiving starts creeping up or even christmas let me know if you guys are into mashing pajamas also because we went to old navy we couldn't find any and that's something that we actually really really love to do we've done that like every year for the last four years um, and I feel like we're only getting better. We try to repurpose our old pajamas that we wear maybe just once a year. We either donate them to give them to a family that wants to start that tradition as well, or we try to just sell them for really, really cheap discounted price. But overall, thank you so much for sticking all the way to the end. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.